Hello, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Uh, I was sitting here making videos for you guys, and it occurred to me I wanted to extrapolate uh, a little further, explicate on a point. Um, I was speaking in a couple of videos about having reverence for his versus respect for, for people. In our culture, we tend to have a caste system. Um, you remember this from school, if you don't, it's okay, I don't remember 99% of the stuff I learned either. Um, kind of like a hierarchy, where some people are considered better because they own more, uh, own more money, possessions, uh, power, fame, um, and also can be information, right? Um, they kind of thought of being more informed, smarter, having, uh, possessing more intelligence, um, where that's really not so true uh, in this society. We tend to test things from uh, one type of intellectual testing when actually people process information in a lot of different ways. So it's really not fair. A lot of children are categorized as less intelligent when they're actually not, when they actually may be more intelligent, but they just don't, their brain doesn't operate very well as far as the test goes, meaning uh, memorizing information and spitting information out. Okay, so uh, in the drum world, or in the music world in general, we tend to have this uh, kind of uh, thing where some people who are musicians um, look up to other musicians, whether you're a guitar player, bass player, keyboard player, drummer, whatever. Um, and you will say, wow, oh my goodness, this guy is, uh, you know, uh, God, you know, uh, I think it was like one time, you know, going around, uh, Eric Clapton is God, you know, kind of thing. Eric Clapton, all due respect to the man, we'll talk respect in a minute, is not God. God is God. Um, God, Eric Clapton was created by God. Now, I don't need to preach, and if the word God is uncomfortable for you, you can replace it with whatever you want, or just, you know, use it as, I don't know, uh, consciousness or something like that, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm not proselytizing, I assure you. So, uh, having uh, respect for a person who studied or worked hard at something, they trained the Olympics or uh, boxing, MMA, um, baseball, football, um, a, an instrument, languages, um, they went to school. I'm an attorney, by the way. Uh, you know, it sounds like uh, people who are not attorney, oh my God, you know, no, it's not, oh my God, he's just reading some books, spitting out some information, getting a degree, throwing your hat in the air, and yay, you're a lawyer. I don't know what the big deal is, there is no big deal about it, and the lawyers who think that they are, they're not, okay? I am one of them, so I'm telling you they're not, okay? They're fooling you. Uh, they take the pants off on, they get a problem, they could say a lot of other things, more graphic, but I'm not going to for uh, YouTube. Uh, legal reasons and just there's no need to get down and dirty, at least for now. Okay, so um, you know, looking up to drummers as drummers uh, as we are, um, please never come here and uh, with any sort of uh, reverence for me. I don't need that. I don't want that. Uh, if you want to respect me, I'm not looking at either. That's fine. Um, I, I I absolutely do this. We're one. We're brothers. Uh, we're children of God, again, meaning that in a non-pedantic, um, uh, didactic, proselytizing way, okay, just uh, meaning it in a very cool way. We're just, uh, we're one, okay, so um, there was a, a joke. A uh, man uh, came up to a hot dog stand and asked the hot dog vendor to make him one with everything. Or I should have said, you know, I, I blew the joke, I'm sorry. See how ADD I am? Uh, what did the man say to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. Okay, yeah, so now you have a joke. Oh. Okay. Um, see, I don't hit reset with this stuff happens. Okay, so yeah, uh, maybe I look a little goofy and foolish. So be it. Okay, so uh, we don't yet have a lot of money uh, as I got back in the drumming game. Uh, please watch the introduction uh, uh, in this channel. You'll see what happened to me, and uh, so I was taken out when I really just kind of like was uh, got got going. So 
so I'm just now, um, you know, really fully back in it, uh, meaning that I'm ready to go full speed ahead again. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, you see like here, we don't have, uh, you know, the, uh, enough curtains at all to uh, sometimes get cameras on an angle where it's not uh, perfectly uh, aesthetic and all, but uh, it's fine. Okay, we're doing the best we can, and uh, we appreciate you guys understanding, and uh, we're doing the best we can, and eventually we'll have better audio and video and everything else, okay? So, uh, one step at a time. So, okay, we're working on it. Uh, we will, I promise. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you want to have respect for people, like such as drummers, uh, you know, uh, that's great, okay? So, uh, don't have reverence. Genuflecting, you know, bowing in front of people, kissing their feet. Because they have a lot of mind muscle memory is really crazy. Okay, yeah, it's just my muscle memory. Uh, cancer, heart disease, uh, and death, uh, these kind of things don't care about my muscle memory. Car accidents, uh, you know, uh, whatever, violence, um, sadness, depression, whatever. Okay, so um, we all struggle with a lot of things or have happiness with a lot of things. And um, death, I assure you, is coming to everybody, no matter how rich and famous or cool they think they are, other people think they are. Um, people signing things. I've always thought that's like the craziest possible thing under the sun. Another human being talking to another human being, please sign this and being like, wow, I have ink that was made by their hand movement. I don't get it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an alien, like, yes, yeah, like aliens land on a planet and they were trying to explain something alien, I would, would be just as much not understandable by me, I don't know. All right, so um, what if um, we were to just have respect for people who um, were drumming really well? And that's great, okay, because um, a lot of time has been put in, and that's great. If you want to respect what I'm doing, that's great. Okay, uh, um, I, I, this idea of putting martial arts and the uh, mind together just came because of my healing process. So I got into martial arts because of that, and I got into learning a lot with the mind. And since I was drumming, I decided to put it together. And um, it was just kind of like a guide inside and out. One step, one step in front of the other led to uh, a place where, um, I don't know, it dawned on me to do it. And maybe it was um, some kind of spiritual um, communication or something. I don't know. I really don't. So um, have respect for yourself first. Um, if you don't have respect for yourself, um, Life's not going to be a very pleasurable process. And um, as we're saying, death is going to eliminate everybody eventually. So no matter how much somebody, you know, how cool you are, get at this, no matter how fast you can do your paradiddles, whatever, you can break the paradiddle record, you know, and make it where nobody can ever break it again. You're still going to die. And uh, the grave waits or the uh, urn if you're going to burn yourself up, whatever you do. Okay? Uh, that goes for how pretty people are, how handsome, or, you know, whatever. Uh, us guys, you know, with uh, your heterosexual, if you're homosexual, that's fine, okay. If I, you know, I, you know I, the ultimate non-judgmental person about every single thing, whatever people do with their genitalia is entirely up to them. I don't understand why people judge other people about what they do with their genitalia. It's really nobody's business, and it's really... Uh, perplexing to say the least to me, um, I don't get it, and uh, it's finally, you know, that part of sexuality, homosexuality that is, is finally accepted in bisexuality, but there's so many other parts of sexuality that are not accepted, so why am I talking about sex for drums and, drum, and drumming lessons? Because it's part of everything, okay, so it's just, you know, um, judge not lest ye be judged, and uh, I don't think that was a, uh, a warning about God coming to get us, uh, if you believe that, that's fine. I don't. Um, I think it was more about um, when you judge, you're hurting yourself. And um, I don't see how one can judge and be happy at the same time. It's just, these two don't mix. They just don't come together. You know, or your hands and fingers like, you know, yeah. Anyway, so um, it was a really cool guy, Lester Levinson. Um, I think he said, uh, you can't feel joy and not be loving at the same time think about that okay and uh, write it down maybe and think about it so if you're not being loving to yourself I don't know how you can be loving to yourself when you're um, being reverent of others 
okay? So, uh, you're like, you know, kind of, uh, to use frank language, cut the shit, okay? You know, with, uh, you know, that a blank drummer, um, please don't do that with me, um, is amazing or some kind of crap like that. No. Uh, amazing? Yeah, maybe. Amazing in the sense of just doing that, but, uh, you know, better than you, um, higher than you, no. Drumming better? Yes. Most drumming, 99% is just application of time and uh, learning proper mechanics and all, which is what this whole system is about. So uh, we have guys who come in who have been playing for many decades with older gentlemen uh, and reteaching them to just hold sticks and that kind of thing um, because they um, they need to do that. You know, they were practicing a long time. What you do consistently produces a destiny. So if you're practicing something wrong, you're gonna get really good at doing something wrong, or not as good as you could put it in uh, proper, more, more uh, propositive language uh, using NLP, persuasion, influence, and techniques. If you want to say that stuff, okay, that's really cool stuff too. Um, okay, so we have um, respect first for yourself. Um, you can have respect for others, but no reverence. Okay, uh, revere God or whatever higher power is to you, or not, whatever's fine. Um, okay, so I hope I um, touched you in some way because I wanted to get that across. Uh, you are a beautiful thing. Um, I am, she is, he is. Whatever the weight, look, facial appearance, not height, money, no money, you know, there is no trash. Um, everybody, maybe some people are uh, doing nutty things because they were made nutty or they or maybe are a little, you know, not right or whatever. But, you know, uh, inherently though, something inside of them is uh, good, you know, I, every, and everybody. Um, so, um, okay, I, you know, it's kind of deep, not for now, but I'm just going to, you know, it's kind of like Zen and Buddhism and all that, uh, you know, uh, beyond the personality of the ego, it's, um, we're all really one and the same, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, we take this up too seriously, so when you're drumming, lighten up, okay? And uh, when you're watching uh, your favorite drummers, lighten up, okay? If you meet them, they're just people, and uh, they just put their pants on one leg at a time and go to the bathroom and things like that, and uh, yeah, if you're sort of watching them on the bowl, I don't really know if you'd be like, wow, they're so cool now, okay? <laughs> so, you know, or your favorite babe, you know, if you're watching her, uh, you know, unless that's your thing, okay? And I'm not sure if it is because, like I said, I don't judge sexuality, but, you know, your favorite babe sitting on a bowl or something is like, she's not so uh, hot anymore at that point, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, I don't know. Light up. Okay.